Hello there. Tonight I'm, I'm trying a bit close up, a bit closer up camera uh, angle. Uh, let me know if you like it or if you like it a little bit further back like I usually have it. Uh, tonight's brush is my Duke 2 from Simpson and Simpson's Best. Lovely brush. Razor tonight is my Johan Engstrom frame back. Then rosewood scales. And the soap for tonight is Mystic Waters, my source sandalwood. Excellent sandalwood soap. The best sandalwood scent I have ever smelled, period. Uh, but tonight's shave is uh, to try out this right here. This is a gift from a viewer and subscriber. I'm pretty sure he probably wouldn't care if I said who he was but i'm not going to mention it if he wants to chime in underneath here and mention it that's fine and we'll go from there but this is supposed to be a really highly mentholated or very cold type of rub splash whatever he says invigorating splash for head and face i know a lot of guys use it i have never tried it or even seen it until i came on uh, line on the shaving forms and people started talking about it so I'm really interested to see what it's like because I love mentholated stuff and uh, this is will be my first time using it so I'm looking forward to that to end the shave so uh, we're gonna pour the water off my soap shake the water off my brush and start loading I love Mystic Water soaps. Uh, a lot of people have a hard time lathering it. I understand that some people have difficulty with some soaps, but I can tell you that, uh, and I had difficulty with it at first. I had the disappearing lather and all that, you know, uh, that everybody talks about. But I knew even though I was dealing with those issues that the soap would end up being something absolutely fantastic if I could get it on my face in a stable kind of way because even with the disappearing lather and stuff my face was so slick that even though the lather disappeared on my face I could continue to shave like there was uh, cream shaving soap lather there and it ended up being an absolutely fantastic shave so i knew that if i could get the lather stable that it would be worth my efforts and this is one of my very favorite soaps here you would be really really hard to uh find a better lather for mystic waters once you get it right and understand how to lather it I'm using my Sean Summers bowl I have been sick for two or three days <clears throat> I think that I am starting to feel better We shall see. <coughs> I certainly hope so. This soap requires that you work it a bit more than your average. To me, in my opinion, well, everybody's got their opinion, but. To me, in my opinion, 
this soap acts a lot like old school hard puck soaps like Mitchell's Wool Fat or tobacco. Uh, and yeah, I know the maker of this probably wouldn't like me saying it, but even like Williams, it acts like the old or older generation of the hard shaving pups grandpas used to use. And that's not a problem for me because I love puck soaps more than I do the current crop of soft soaps or the Italian soft soaps or anything like that. And I'm not knocking them. They are wonderful. Uh, but the hard soap to me are more in line with what I remember of the wet shaving you know that our grandfathers did and stuff like that at least here in the states uh i'm sure there were and you can see through the old advertisements and stuff there were still there were creams colgate and all kinds there were creams as well uh not just the hard pucks but When you think about things like a mug and a brush, you think a hard puff of soap. Like Williams or Mitchell's Wolfat or Colgate or um, Old Spice or any number of them. I'm also discovering something about myself and the different characteristics of different grinds of straight razors. I've said all along that things like uh, near wedge or like this frame back they shave differently even like a, a half hollow or a quarter hollow blade to me they I know they're sharp because I've no one sharpening them they're passing all the same kind of tests that my hollow ground blades are passing but I had said all along that I felt like they felt different and for uh, a better, for lack of a better word, they did not feel as keen or as sharp. And what I'm finding out is that that was a fault of mine and not the razor or the grind. What is happening is that because the, I sense a little bit of a different feel to the razor for some reason or because, I'm not quite sure what it is, or because the blade is heavier because there's more steel in it or it could be half a dozen different things going on that I'm not aware of that I have been pressing a little bit harder with the razors that are not hog ground and uh, that's accounting for a lot of the difference in feel and when I back off that pressure it's plain that the 
the razor's plenty sharp. You know, it's just, you know, Dunderhead up here, psychologically I'm doing something different because, you know, I'm perceiving the difference that's not there. So... Lovely. That's something to think about, you know. I've straight shaved now for For a year and a half, and my technique is fine, but I, I still, you know, that's something I think we all have to kind of pay attention to, is that we don't get, we don't fall into habits or fall victim to uh oh false assumptions excuse me okay uh still not feeling very well uh i don't know If that's quite the right term, just wonderfully close right there. Mm. Uh, if false assumption is quite the right term, but you know, I I learned something. I like that. Or said you can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> Didn't have much experience with old dogs. Because this old dog just learned something. About himself. And I think that's something that uh, is wonderful about wet shaving. Is that if you pay attention and if you question. You know, hey, what's going on here? Why is this happening? Can you think? Can you? With me, it just went back to basic technique. I had my angle down. And it, that's second nature now. I don't even have to worry about it. The angle stays correct without even any kind of thought. So I started thinking, okay, back to basics. No pressure. That's the very first thing that you learn whether it's a straight razor or a DE or an SC or anything like that no pressure so when I started using uh, the last time uh, last shave I was using I used a wedge and it was like wait a minute no pressure duh and everything started falling into place so there you go hold on one second you dry my face all right, buddy. Osage rub. It smells suitably mentally. Let me get a generous portion in my hand. Oh, I like that. It's got that. It's got a spearmint kind of. Uh, A spearmint kind of scent to it. That's lovely. It's nice and cool. And the cool comes on a little bit at a time. 
Actually, I'm going to get use just a bit more of that. Uh, that's lovely. Uh, it's building even as I speak. I like that. Mm. Lovely. Does it have alcohol? Water, alcohol. Yeah, denatured alcohol. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's it right there. Just a little bit more product and mm, it comes up. Awesome. Thank you, my friend. That's awesome. I like that. I love the smell of it. Trying to smell the bottle. I love the smell of it. It's got a wonderful, wonderful, uh, my eyes are starting to water kind of a coolness to it. I love it. Thank you. That's awesome. Well, that's definitely going to be uh, used a lot in my den. Bless you guys. Thank you for watching. Later.